It's a beautiful day. Welcome back to Critter Hunter. In this episode, Justin and Finn explored two dive sites, the first being Bonnet's Corner and the second at Wild Reef. Stay tuned for amazing critters at both dive sites, including some crazy species you've never seen before. Welcome to episode 52. Hmm? Critter Hunter. Hello, I'm a reptilian snake eel. My favorite things in life are staring contests, never blinking, and scaring small children. And I'm a seahorse. My favorite things are getting eaten by reptilian snake eels, hiding from reptilian snake eels, and dreaming about reptilian snake eels. And you can meet my best friend, Mr. Grass. Hey guys, welcome back to my underwater world. And guess what I found? It's a pygmy pipe horse. It's not a pipe fish. It's not a seahorse. It's a pipe horse. That's right. It's the coolest little pipe horse hybrid thingy in the planet. And it's tiny and it's awesome looking. It's got little weird hairs flying everywhere. Kind of like a hairy frogfish. And I've been looking for one of these guys for a long time. In size, these guys are probably about two inches long and really hard to find. As you can see, they look exactly like the seagrass and they don't move a lot. I have no idea how these guys survived evolution by just hanging on to grass and hoping nobody notices them, but I'm sure glad they did because they're super cute. Now I see a million porcelain crabs on every dive and I have been ignoring them lately, but this guy was hanging out under a bright purple anemone and it looked really cool at night, so I had to film him. And I'm pretty sure you guys like these guys too. Of course there's no dive in Darwin where you're not going to see a puffer fish, and this one's a porcupine puffer so he's extra cool. You long time viewers know that way back in the day I was always searching for these Donald Duck shrimp and I guess those days are over because I've been seeing them on nearly every dive. Maybe I'm lucky or maybe it's the season, I don't know, but I love these little rare... Okay, I just got photobombed by a piece of grass. Anyway, I love these guys, but hey look, he's, he's like a polka dot butt. I'm gonna name these guys the polka dot butts. Anyway, really cool little shrimp. Looks like a duck because of his weird beak-like thingy. And yeah, I don't mind taking time to film these guys whenever I see them. So this is my friend Samuel, and I actually entered him into the ugliest crab contest, but he scared the children and got kicked out. I had to call his mother. Don't worry, Samuel, I'm coming to get you. Thanks, mom. All oh, those mean kids kicking you out of the contest. We all know you're the ugliest child in the school. Don't worry, I'm gonna carry you home on my back. You won't even have to do any work. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my wife says I'm a crab bully and I'm probably gonna have to delete that or I'm gonna de get demonetized. A Anyways, here's a uh, wonder puss. As you guys know, this Wonder Puss was on Finn Snow's top 10 bucket list, but we crossed it off. We've been seeing quite a few of these. The hard one to find is the Mimic Octopus, which looks exactly the same. I had to take these photos and videos to some biologists just to make sure that they're Wonder Puss and not Mimics. And they told me the little sub subtle differences that Mimics have over Wonder Pusses. <laughs> Yes, I said that right, Wonder Pusses. Um, and apparently the suction cups underneath are white instead of tan. <laughs> so if you ever see a Wonder Puss under the ocean and you were wondering if it's a mimic, just look at his suction cups, I guess. Anyways, I thought this shot was hilarious because you can see these two little tiny legs on the right. They obviously got eaten by like a eel or something. 
and they're starting to grow back. <laughs> it reminds me of that movie Deadpool where he gets his hand cut off and then he starts growing it back and it looks like a little baby hand at the beginning. <laughs> That's what this octopus reminds me of because he's starting to grow his arms back. But it's still a kind of cool feature. And it's also kind of weird to know that one of the snake eels bit his arms off and had a snack. Yeah, you can't pick your neighbors, right? Yeah, I don't know what else to say about this Wonderpus other than it's awesome and definitely one of my favorite octopuses in the world. This guy is way smaller than you think. His whole body, not including his legs, is probably three inches tall. And then of course those arms are really long. So yeah, awesome little dude. So we're about to do our second dive of the day and a subscriber got a hold of me and said he knew where we could find, should I say? Harlequin Har oh, shrimps. we're gonna jinx it. Yeah, we shouldn't have said that. We didn't jinx no, the Wonder Puss, so maybe it's okay. <laughs> okay. We might have jinxed it, but. You got the lucky charm. Come here, yeah. come here Carl, you wanna be in there? Yeah. <laughs> he contacted us, emailed well, me. Uh, I was like, hell yeah, let's go. So we're, and this is actually a new dive site for us. Yeah, we're yeah, trying yeah. to explore all the dive sites in Dawa and South. So Hopefully. this is this is wild. Cross fingers. <laughs> wild beach, wild scuba. Yeah, wild scuba. Wild scuba, well, and their house reef is wild reef. <laughs> so for sure, we're gonna find some cool stuff, and I want to see the topography. I don't know what it looks like here. No idea. What are we expecting? Probably for me because I've tried from Zambongita down straight to Tobacco with DPV. Yeah. Okay. And for me, this is the best spot. Are we gonna? So, what do we expect? Like a harlot a, a lot of nudies. Yeah, nudies. nudies. Yeah. Rare. Any nudies. octopuses here? Oh. It's rare. No, not so. Only in Malatapai. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's our favorite spot, too. <laughs> well, we're gonna try real hard for the harlequin shrimp. Yeah. But for sure, we'll find something. If not, something else. <laughs> you ready? Exactly. Yeah. Let's go. So we're jumping into the water here at Wild Reef and the first thing I see is this weird unicorn like fish sleeping on its side in a cave. He's freaking hilarious. He's just, I don't know if he's looking at me or if he's actually unconscious and just has no eyelids, I don't know. But I had to get a close up of those lips because those are the most hilarious lips I've ever seen. And then I ran into the biggest turtle of my entire life. I swear this thing is over 400 pounds. Finn was trying to get a shot of me next to it, but seriously, it was so big, I could ride this thing to Atlantis and fight next to Aquaman on his seahorse or something. I don't know, but it, what I'm trying to say is it's freaking huge. This thing must be over 100, 120 years old. That's, that's how big it is. <laughs> and then on the opposite end of the spectrum, I found this tiny little harlequin swimming crab, probably half the size of a US dime, and he was riding on a giant sea cucumber. I, uh, <laughs> I just thought it was super funny when I'm editing this that I go from the hugest turtle in the world to the tiniest little crab. I don't know why that's funny. I'm sorry. And then there was another porcupine puffer fish sticking his head out, wondering what's up. These guys have really boring lives, I think. And then, yeah, there's another Donald Duck shrimp. I couldn't believe it. I love these guys, but I'm, s man, I must be really spoiled to tell you the truth because I never in my wildest days thought I would start skipping species such as this one. 
but it's come to the point where I'm just not even filming them when I see them. I mean, they're so awesome. There's no conservation status. Little is known about them. They're pretty rare, but I'm seeing them so often that I don't film them anymore. This is the funny thing about night dives is you find weird random fish just sleeping on their sides. <laughs> I, I think as a kid, I always assumed that they just kind of float there and you know, I don't know, but I guess they, they sleep like humans. Of course, I ran into yet another of the countless anemones on this dive, but this guy had some eggs. You see that red stuff sitting on that rock? It's a bunch of eggs. So I zoomed in a little closer to get a look at those eggs. And there's not much going on. They're not very developed. These guys must be only a day or two old. In about four or five days, they might even hatch. And then the next thing I ran into was the weirdest nudie prank of my life. I've never seen this guy. And he was super still. I didn't even know if he was alive or dead. My guide showed me it and I was like, what, what, what is that? I, I don't know what's going on. But it, it was a nudie prank, I could tell. But it was so still, it just wasn't moving at all. And he looked exactly like the sponge around him. It's definitely something that I have to look up and get more information about. It's not a species that is very known, that's very com I have never even seen these in other videos or photos online. It's definitely a new one for me and Finn and a lot of the people I talk to around Darwin. So if any of you guys watching this know the actual scientific name of this particular nudie, let me know. You'll definitely get 10 points. I even got a close up of his yellow butt feathers, as you do, and you know I had to do a lot of camera work just to film this guy because he wasn't moving at all. It was actually really boring. If it wasn't a new and unique species, I wouldn't even film it because there's absolutely no interesting behavior going on unless he's trying to be a scarecrow. Anyways, that's it for me today guys. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.